Underneath every living city, generations of dead, and London is no different. Uncovered during the work for a new railway, Crossrail, these skeletons tell an especially anguished story. This is a burial pit from 1665, when plague ravaged the city. An eyewitness said the victims died by heaps and were buried by heaps. And when the skeletons were laid out and examined and teeth removed and sent for DNA analysis, scientists found evidence of the Yersinia pestis bacteria, the pathogen which causes bubonic plague. No, this person certainly didn't. These are the remains of a young man, aged between 18 and 25, who died of the plague. We don't know his name, but the DNA samples from his teeth can help us understand more about diseases. We can sequence the DNA and start comparing it with both modern-day plague and older variations, older variants of the disease, to see how the disease has evolved. And the reason that's important is not just for the history of plague, but for the history of infectious disease, to see how the infectious diseases evolve over time and how they might affect us in the future. Fortunately for London, the Great Plague of 1665 was also the last. Probably because hygiene improved, perhaps because the disease evolved in a less deadly way. Scientists are now working through the thousands of other skeletons they've unearthed during the building of Crossrail to work out what people were eating, where they came from, how they lived and died some 350 years ago. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera in central London.